There are hundreds of programming languages out there. Some are ancient, some are brand new, and most people have no idea what makes them different. Today we're breaking down the biggest ones, the ones that actually shape the apps, games, and websites you use every single day. From the foundation of modern computing to the tools running artificial intelligence, here's every major programming language explained in just five minutes. C. The Ancestor. Our journey starts in the 1970s with C. Think of C as the ancestor of almost everything that came after. It's fast, efficient, and extremely close to how computers actually work. That's why it was used to build operating systems, embedded devices, and hardware-level programs. But here's the catch. C doesn't hold your hand. If you make a mistake, you can crash the whole system. It's powerful but unforgiving. Without C, though, most of the other languages wouldn't even exist. Then came C++, an upgrade built in the 1980s. Imagine C, but with added tools to organize code in a way that resembles real-world objects. This made it easier to build massive, complex systems. That's why C++ still powers video games, web browsers, and high-performance apps today. It's a heavyweight language. Tough to master, but with insane amounts of control. If C is the skeleton, C++ is the muscle layered on top. Java, the business giant. Fast forward to the 1990s and we get Java. Its promise was simple. Write once, run anywhere. Thanks to the Java virtual machine, Java code can run across platforms, which made it perfect for business. Even now, Java is everywhere in enterprise software, banking systems, and Android apps. It's reliable and battle-tested, but often criticized for being clunky and old school. Still, Java is the corporate workhorse that just won't die. C Sharp, Microsoft's language. Around the early 2000s, Microsoft wanted their own spin on things, and that's how C Sharp was born. At first, it was tightly tied to Windows, but over time it expanded. Today, it's famous for powering video games through the Unity engine and plenty of desktop applications. It's easier to work with than C++, but still packs a punch. If Java and C++ had a child raised by Microsoft, you'd get C Sharp. Python, the friendly one. Now let's talk about the crowd favorite, Python. If you've ever asked, what programming language should I learn first? The answer is almost always Python. That's because it looks and feels simple. But don't mistake simplicity for weakness. Python dominates data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. It's also huge in automation, web servers, and even hacking tools. The downside, it's slower compared to C++ or Java. But because of its massive library ecosystem, Python has become the Swiss army knife of coding. For millions of beginners, Python is their first love. JavaScript, the web magician. While Python grew in the background, JavaScript became the magician of the internet. If you've clicked a button on a website, watched a live update, or seen an animation online, that's JavaScript at work. It runs inside browsers, bringing static web pages to life. Over time, it grew beyond the browser, and now it powers servers, mobile apps, and even desktop software. Developers often joke about JavaScript's quirks and weird syntax, but let's be real. Without JavaScript, the internet as we know it wouldn't exist. Then we have Go, also known as Golang, created by Google in 2009. Think of it as a modern reinvention of simplicity. It combines the speed of C with the readability of Python. It's perfect for cloud infrastructure, servers, and networking. Go doesn't try to do everything. It just does a few things really well. That's why companies like Google, Uber, and Dropbox love it. In a world of complicated programming languages, Go is the minimalist choice. And finally, we can't ignore SQL, Structured Query Language. It's not really a general purpose programming language, but it's essential. Whenever you search on YouTube, shop online, or log into an app, SQL is working behind the scenes, pulling data from massive databases. Without SQL, our digital lives would be chaos. It's the quiet librarian that keeps the internet's information organized. So which language is the best? The truth is none of them. Each one was built with a specific purpose. C gave birth to modern computing. C++ gave us speed and power. Java rules the business world. Python is the friendly multi-tool. JavaScript makes the web come alive. Go keeps things simple. And SQL? It's the glue holding your data together. They're not rivals. They're tools. And together, they build the digital world around us. If you found this breakdown helpful, let me know which language you want me to dive into next. Maybe Python, JavaScript, or even something more obscure like Rust.
And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more technical expertise.